Okay. But first. Mm. Okay, whistle is wetted. How does Islam guarantee human rights? I have an answer for that. Stay small. <laughs> Don't take over whole countries. Don't run governments. Yeah, you want to run your followers' lives, that's fine. Don't run the government. There's other people that that need that government, you know, and you... If you don't allow people to be secular, you're not really that, you know, you just. <sighs> According to the Quran, God has created all of humankind equal and has given each the right to pursue their own destiny. Really? I mean, so nobody's been born now, you know, with a genius IQ and another person, you know, uh, with a negative nil. <laughs> yeah, someone with birth defects is equal to somebody who's like a, got natural athletic abilities like some people do. I mean, I get what they're saying. I mean, I feel every individual should be approached with respect. Until they show you that respect uh, is undeserved, then usually I just have nothing to do with them, or also maybe I'll make fun of them. But yeah, you're right. People have a right to try to make a, a living, try to get through life. Uh, but this pursue their destiny shit. <laughs> destiny? That it. That. That suggests you had an itinerary for your life, and there was a destination pre-marked. I mean, that's how I take it. Destiny, my ass. This is how you turn out and go, holy shit, didn't expect that. Or some people are like, yep, pretty close to what I planned all along. You know, everyone's different. But they have equal rights. I agree. They should have equal rights. Human rights. If you're human. You are entitled to those rights. And then there's humane rights where you don't, you know, can't be cruel and sadistic and evil. You know. The life, honor, and property of all people in a Muslim society are considered sacred. Whether the person is Muslim or not, Racism, sexism, and prejudice of any sort are unacceptable in Islam. The Quran speaks of human equality in the following terms. I don't know if you hear being buzzed by hornets. <laughs> I got hornet traps out that that deep in, in the corpses. It's just they had a population explosion this summer. Uh, that's all right. They mostly just an annoy. They very seldom sting. You know, I mean, I haven't been stung too many. I've stung three times this year, I think. No big deal. Oh, humankind. We created you from a male and female. Made you into nations and tribes so that you may come to know one another. And by we, God means, means himself. Uh, it's like the royal we, I was told. Nice explanation. At the, I was told that at the Muslim booth. The Ask Islam booth. I went and I asked, you know, why is it? Like, you know, in certain parts of the Bible, God becomes we. And but us, you know, and in the Quran. And it's, it's like, you know, when the queen says, we are not amused. But she's just saying she didn't get the joke. All right. Anyway, 
you know, most Muslims don't need me to clear that up. But I mention that just to show that I do understand that part. I don't point out, ooh, it's polytheism. Because I don't have a dog in the fight, really. All right. Truly, the most honored of you in God's sight is the greatest of you in piety. Naturally, he would say that. Or his priests would say that. God is all-knowing and all-aware, except when he isn't, apparently. Because there's a lot of points where, at least in poetic language, it sure sounds like he is unaware of some things. Uh, Surah 49.13. That's a good one. Look it up. Dealing equitably and protecting the rights of every individual is the cornerstone of a Muslim society. See, that's just it. It has to become a society. Can't you just be a separate thing? I mean, not everybody believes in your sky daddy. Including people that believe in other sky daddies. All right. The right to life is the most basic of all human rights, and the Quran Kari, uh, equates the unjust killing of a single person to killing all of humankind. Eh, means you probably potentially could if you take that leap. <sighs> and whoever kills a soul, Lacuni, should be as though he had killed all of humankind. So it's according to the Surah, which is five. 32. Mm -mm. Dealing equitably and protecting the rights of every individual is a cornerstone of, of a Muslim society. That's where it choked. Why not of, of all Muslim individuals? Why do I have to codify it by law suddenly? And now... Whatever. God further states in the Quran, O oh, you who believe, stand up firmly for God and witness a to fair dealing. And let not hatred of a people incite you to act inequitably. Just act. Wait. Act justly, just act justly, act justly, that is nearer to piety and be conscious of your duty to God. Surely God is aware of all that you do. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good, so be good for, yeah, no pressure, just for goodness sake. No coercion there. Oh, sir, a five eight, by the way. And that's it for this. And we got all this fine information. Uh, for more information about jihad and Islam, more information about jihad and Islam may be obtained by contacting your local mosque, the Islamic center in your area, or by contacting the following. And they got credits. Uh, yeah, you know what? Not much of a Muslim imprint uh, in this particular area, as far as I can tell. I'm fine with it. I wouldn't mind, you know. Hey, you know, folks is folks, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but no, you don't see that.
Uh, I mean, they got a Kingdom Hall. We got Seventy Adventists, and there's some Mormons uh, in a neighboring town. Uh, some Mormon presence there, and uh, some Mennonite uh, split off. That's all I'm aware of so far. Although the Jehovah Witnesses no longer visit me after I had conversations with them. And I was, thought it was being nice. Just asking questions. Making them work for a little bit, you know. They said they'd be back. I think I was lied to. That's been eight years now. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, no, uh, no, uh, as far as I can tell. I don't know, we have a Fiji guy nearby, but I think he's Hindu. You know, it could be Muslim. I never asked. Wouldn't matter. Anyway, uh, that's it for this uh, publication. I'll roll the dice in the next video. Uh, or maybe I'll get a comment that uh, makes the, you know, the next two that are left. You know, I'm going to read them all. It doesn't matter what order anyway. I could flip a coin. What the hell? Uh, yeah, I'll flip a coin. Uh, let me know if you learned anything. And, yeah, tell me what that was, you know. Let me know what that was, that thing that you learned. Because, you know, I like to help. Anyhow, um, we'll flip a coin in the next video and read the next, the next project. So stay tuned and peace.